just say when, so... Run, Barry. Run! guys, it's me Joseph. Welcome back to another Flash review. Today I am going to be reviewing The Flash Season 3 Episode 15, The Wrath of Savitar. So this is the 15th episode in the season and we're very close to the season finale and uh, we are, this is a very exciting episode uh, because uh, as we saw in the preview for it, it looks like Savitar is going to get out of the Speed Force. So a few things I would like to say before I start my re review. Um, first, I don't know if you guys knew, know, or know this, but um, I am putting the chapters in every description of my Flash review. I'm putting, I'm putting chapters uh, of, like, you know, every topic that I do on every episode like for example uh, my last episode was attack on Central City uh, and I was just putting you know like in the like if you look read in the description it'll put uh, the topics like HR and Harry uh, Gypsy Gorilla Grodd you know all of the stuff that I discuss and you know just in case you guys want to skip some parts so that's in the description uh, so check that out uh, I, uh, one of my friends, uh, Minreev Singh, he, uh, has a YouTube channel called Minreev Singh. I will put a link to his channel in the description, uh, but he also does flash reviews, so make sure to go check out his channel, because it's really awesome, he has a really awesome channel. So go check out his flash reviews, they're really good. So, yeah, make sure to check that out once you're done with this video. Uh, and also, I, uh, saw Logan last week, last weekend. And it was really good. Um, maybe on my Instagram, I might do a live video on talking about Logan. I might even do a live YouTube video. And you guys can also uh, leave uh, questions on what I thought about the movie, and I'll discuss it with you guys. So I'll uh, try to do that uh, very soon. Uh, all right. So now, after uh, now since I've uh, you know, talked about that kind of stuff. Uh, I guess now let's get into the the actual episode. So, the first thing we see in this episode is Wally training to save Iris. So, uh, Flash wants well, Barry. I guess I could say Barry wants Wally to save Iris because he saw in the future that Flash wasn't fast enough to save Iris from Savitar. So we thought he could save the future by having Wally save her. And uh, he was training with Jesse. He was pretending Jesse was Iris and Flash was Savitar. And he uh, wanted Wally to save uh, Iris from Savitar. So, uh, but with a little role playing. Um, and he did, so it's pretty cool because Wally gets faster and faster every single episode so that's really cool now throughout this episode Wally keeps seeing Savitar in places and nobody is seeing Savitar anywhere like like in the beginning when Wally was done training like I just said he looks at a building and he sees Savitar and he's like what is going on and uh, that also happens for throughout the, the episode like he sees Savitar when he's uh, helping Flash. He sees him at his house because uh, Savitar disguised himself as Wally's mother, which 
I mean, I thought was pretty cruel because, I mean, come on, the kid's mom died and, man, I mean, that would, that's, that was pretty emotional because, I mean, what would you do if you saw your mother and you haven't seen her in, a, in so long? I mean, and then you, it turns out it's not her, it's Savitar, like your biggest enemy. So throughout this episode, he just keeps seeing Savitar, Savitar, and he's like, what is going on? And then Barry says, he's in your mind. He's like, he's like trying to get into your mind so he can, so uh, Wally can free Savitar. But, you know, they're trying uh, not to let that happen. Now, uh, Julian uh, has a connection with Savitar. So what they were doing was they were uh, connecting him to this device and they wanted to get some answers from him. And now I'm going to be talking about uh, what Savitar told us. So he told us a lot of interesting things, like Team Flash is the reason he's that way, and very soon Flash is going to be there when Savitar gets his powers. And he says he thought Zoom and Reverse Flash were your biggest enemies, but no, I've always been your biggest enemy. And he's talking to Iris, he's like, Oh yeah, Iris, you trying to tell the world that you're not you're not afraid? Well, I'm sorry, but I'm going to kill you. <laughs> so, but you know, obviously Team Flash is trying to uh not have that happen. But Savitar is, you know, he's he's going to he's going to he's going to try to do that, but I I hope that, that does not happen cuz I already cried enough when she died in the future. So, if she dies, like, in the present, then that would be... Hold on, let me rephrase that. I already saw what the future... Wait. I already saw what the future is. I don't want to see what the present is? Hold on, hold on, let me... Okay, let me... I already saw... You know what? Never mind, let's just get to the um, next topic. Uh, let's see. Uh, um, I mean, not the next topic, but I'm just going to be talking about what else Savitar told us. Savitar told us, like, I am the future Flash. I'm going to get into that later. He continues to say the line, I am the future Flash. 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 What does that mean? Does that mean he's the future Flash? I think... He is Barry in the future. But, we'll get into that in a little bit. When I get into another topic. But, Savitar told us a lot of interesting things. That, like, HR will be surviving. Cisco is could have been a god, he said. But, he chose to be tech support. Anyway. Moving on. <laughs> but yeah, Savitar told us a lot of stuff. And now let's get into the next topic. Will Iris marry Barry? I am not sure about that. Because when Wally saw in the future that she did not have a ring on her finger. And he asked Barry, he was like, is that the reason you asked Iris to marry you? Because they didn't, because she didn't have a ring on her finger. And he thought that that could change the future. Well, he was right. That's why. He chose to marry her, but Iris is pretty mad and he, she doesn't know what to do. So what if this caused her to not get married to Barry and she like throws the ring away and she doesn't have that ring on her finger and then Savitar kills her. I just hope that does not happen because Iris is awesome, we don't want to see her die. so. Yeah, I mean, it's a big question. Will Iris marry Barry? I don't know. We'll see. Now, Wally gets trapped into the Speed Force. Man, so, Savitar, he totally just tricked Wally. And he threw that little piece of the stone into the Speed Force. And boom, Savitar was able to crawl out of the Speed Force. Because, because Wally took his place and... He crawled out and he said this line, I'm free. 
Yeah, that's what he said. Um, but then, Savitar escapes. Savitar escapes because Wally threw that stone into the speed force, which caused him to grab it and make his move to come out. And now, Savitar came out, and Wally took Savitar's place to be trapped into the speed force. So now, that means that Savitar might be able to kill Iris, but we won't know until a few months because, well, yeah, you know, the few months that we have to wait for Iris to die. It's gonna be sad. No, I'm not gonna cry. Okay, so, yeah, Savitar escapes, which is just gonna be very bad for Team Flash because now they have to worry about Savitar again. And they thought Savitar was gone for good. But he wasn't. He is not gonna be here for a while. Barry actually might lose this battle. But we will find that out later. Now, Savitar versus the Flash. That was a really crazy battle because I can't believe Flash is actually able to like challenge Savitar. I mean, he was actually able to kind of put up a little bit of a fight, but you know, obviously Savitar won that battle. But hey, Flash is getting somewhere. He's actually doing pretty good. I mean, I'm really impressed with Flash's moves and he's able to be quick and punch Savitar and well, I mean, I mean, he I mean, Savitar caught his punch, but you know, He's still, he's still get, he's still getting somewhere. I mean, you know, Flash can't lose his hope. I mean, he can do this. Now, I've been wanting to talk about this topic. Flash tries to remove Savitar's mask. Mask. In, um, when they're fighting, he takes his head and he like almost takes off his mask and he's like, show your face. So that means Flash is starting to question who Savitar is. And I have a theory that I'll probably make another video out of. I think that f that Savitar is actually the future Flash because Savitar repeat repeats the same exact line. I am the future Flash. I am the future Flash. I am the future Flash. Some people think he might be saying I am the future Flash. Like, you know, with a comma in between, but I think that he's trying to say I am the future Flash. Like I am the future version of you, Flash. I am like when Flash becomes older he's gonna become Savitar. And that's just what's gonna happen. Because in that recording, in the crossover of older Barry, he says, don't trust me because I will make a decision in the future that will cause a lot of harm to us. So I'm thinking that Flash is Savitar, but not this Flash, future Flash. Um, now I'm gonna get into my last topic, Savitar's prophecy. So we saw Wally get sucked into the speed force, and which was a very tragic moment. So apparently Wally suffered a fate that's far worse than death to be stuck. Wait, wait a minute, wait, wait, hold the phone. Did I just say a fate worse than death? Wait, wait. <gasps> I've heard that line before. Savitar's prophecy. He said, one will fall, one will betray you, and one, wait, one will suffer a fate far worse than death. Aha! Uh -huh. Wally is the one who suffered the fate far worse than death. Because he gets trapped into the speed force, which is a terrible thing to happen to anyone, because the speed force is an endless void of time and space. It's like being trapped in space, but it's called the Speed Force. So that means Wally is inside of the Speed Force and he suffered a fate far worse than death. So one down, two more prophecies to go. So we now already know that Wally is the one who suffers the fate far worse than death. Now the question is, who will betray the team and who will fall? Alright guys, thanks for listening to my um, 
review on The Flash Season 3, Episode 15, The Wrath of Savitar. I hope you guys enjoyed my video, and you guys tell me your thoughts on who do you think will betray the team and who will fall. Will it be Iris, or will it be someone else? Who will betray the team? Will it be HR, like my HR um, theory that he might be evil, or will it be someone else? We won't know these until later on. But thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed my video. Don't forget to check out my friend's YouTube channel, uh, Minreev Singh, because he does awesome flash reviews. And don't forget to um, acknowledge that I do chapters on my in my description of every flash review. So uh, thank you guys for watching, and I guess I will see you guys on my next video. All right, see you guys.